Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to the Front Sider Helicopter Quick Guide. Or, I say guide, it should be more accurately titled, How on Earth Did I Manage This? So, story behind this video is quite simple. I wanted to record something short because, deacons, hell, it's been marathon recording sessions recently. And so, I wanted to talk about something that I managed to make almost by accident. Um, the other day, and this is, well, this is an attack helicopter. It is the closest I have ever gotten to an attack helicopter, a proper one, and it still doesn't work very well, so it doesn't actually have a name apart from simple gun heli, and yeah, I don't know uh, why it doesn't work, because logically everything should, but, so think of this as half a guide. This is almost how to get one of these things working. Ah, now that I now that it's steering it can work great so what is this thing this is well you will probably look at this and think that this looks an awful lot like uh, the Comanche which was a cancelled uh, yeah, US attack helicopter project only had the one prototype built and well it's quite well it's simple but at the same time not simple at in the least it's armed with a single Simple weapon right here. This is the pom-pom uh, -pom AA gun. Simple weapon stab. And despite my best efforts, this thing is stuffed full of ACBs. And for those of you wondering, this thing is meant to work like a front sider. It's meant to point straight at the enemy. And it's meant to just... Well, it's meant to just uh, like straight forwards and backwards. It's like the Kobold. It's like uh, the front sider airship I made the other day. It doesn't always do that. It sometimes does that, but a lot of the time it does not. And the problem is with the steering. This uh, I've tried to get this thing to point straight at the target. And let's what happens if I delete this? Nothing. So yeah, I'm still trying to get this to work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And like as you can see, this thing is meant to turn and point straight at the enemy, but this thing back here just does not work. In fact, what happens if I do this? Okay, that probably helps. Okay, I just fixed it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I guess we can save it right there. Never mind. Uh, try not to do make the damn thing do too many things at once is the answer to all of life's problems. Should probably go hop on the other helicopter and do that. So how does this thing work? Well, multiple ACBs. The important ones are back here. If there's an enemy within uh, 180, might, negative 180 degrees to zero degrees, it activates the compass control key, which is back here. So it has it spin one way, has it spin the other, and you can bind that. However, I've got it to... Is this thing actually working? Yes, it is. I'm very annoyed about that. Uh, well, I'm happy I've got it to work. I am less happy that it was so easy and it took me so long to figure that out. I guess recording's good for you. Also, simple weapons are really good at the moment. So because APS is a little very expensive. This is the missile variant, by the way. Works exactly the same way. I should get on with it. So, ACBs. That's how you steer. It's got a little pitch PID controller here, simply because uh, I find ACBs makes it too janky for that, and the regular uh, AI controls, uh, they turn off when you tell the, the movement to be disabled. And what else is here? So, if the distance of the enemy is between blah 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 and blah blah, 600 500 uh, meters, it activates these spin blocks. And same here, so it sets them to 30, sets them pulling the thing backward, and in between uh, over 600 meters away, it sets it to move forward, so that's how these things work. You can see the line of force uh, with uh, these uh, this rear deadly blade. Uh, that's how it works. Also, I'm probably this thing is probably going to be re aha. We killed the Nessie. This thing is probably going to be rendered useless in a future update because a proposed change is to make it so that deadly blades do need clearance. So internal deadly blades will be a thing of the past. I'm actually kind of happy about that, simply because I never was that fond of internal daily blades, even though I use them all the time. It's like I begrudgingly use them because they're so useful, 
and they still take power and they still take up space, but at the same time, I won't miss them much. If there's no enemy uh, back to the ACBs within, well, if there's no enemies nearby, it sets all the spin blocks to stop spinning. Well, these ones, just so it stop, doesn't just turn like crazy. It's got some. Okay, it's got a repair unit on it because uh, in packs these things tend to collide with each other. It's got its ammo right here. It's got its AI right next to the ammo. Yes, this thing is not designed to take a hit. Powered by RTGs because I am lazy and it means I don't need to stick exhaust pipes on it. Also helps. Uh, are you serious, me? Stick a four meter one in here, you. This is why it's handy to occasionally just uh, have a look at yourself. Have a look at your own work. On camera, you will find stuff. So, yeah, what else would I... Why does this thing have a wireless transmit? Oh, yeah, it's because of all this. Blarg. Okay, so that's all that. ACB is right here controlling this big daddy blade. And the reason for this, as opposed to, uh, to PIDs or... Uh, what do you call it? Simple AI controls is because with ACBs, this thing bounces up and down in the air. So it goes down and then it pops up, which do I admit doesn't have a very good uh, helicopter feel to it. Like, ideally, you want the helicopter just to have constantly spinning rotors, but that's not really something that uh, that happens for this. It's like it's not a deal breaker for me, but for a lot of uh, people watching that might be very, very annoying. In which case, you have my sympathies. I couldn't figure out any better, I am sorry. Lots of uh, surge protectors in here, and the only reason for that is because uh, I stick surge protectors in one block gaps and I, when I have no idea what else to put in them, so that's the only reason for them. Bonus EMP protection, although this thing is so small and is made completely out of alloy, so um, uh, it's gonna get AI deaded pretty easily by any kind of EMP thing. Uh, more ACBs here, so this is the usual complex control setup. So, if vehicle altitude is within 320 to f uh, 400 meters, activate control key T, that's these guys on top, because I want them to uh, push the thing down and push it up quite quickly. So, there's T, D, D. And this is. Yes, this, these are roll thrusters, so because this thing rolls around like crazy. And here's more roll thrusters right here. The power of scale is set to about 50%, uh, simply because it thrashes around too much if these things are set to full power, which is not pretty good. Also a heartstone right there, because I tried using these things in uh, story missions. Didn't go so well. well. Not really designed for that. And yeah, that's basically uh, this thing. I'm just going to save it right here. Then I'm going to go jump on... My other one, the missile variant. Missile. I've been hanging out with Americans too much, clearly. Which is ironic, because I don't have many real-life American friends. Like, on the internet, I've got a few. Uh, but uh, in real life, not so much. Did have a history teacher who was American, though. He was cool. And uh, he was from California. Anyway, so the missile variant is very much the same, except uh, it's got two small missiles on it. Pretty terrible firepower, but very cheap, and it keeps up uh, with its ammo supply quite nicely. And I'm just going to fix this thing uh, the way I fixed the other one, which is like so. Do, 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 do. And while I'm here, I'm going to shape this thing like I shaped the other one. While I'm doing that, let's talk... What can we talk about? Let's talk about helicopters some more. The problem with helicopters in From the Depths is that, functionally speaking, they are pretty much the same as airships, except that airships, uh, by definition, don't have big exposed rotors on top of them, so... There's not really that much cool for helicopters, unfortunately, which is a shame, because I think helicopters are awesome. But just consistently, airships outdo them, and that's just how this game works. Like, why would you stick... What the hell is going on here? Ah, I put these things in backwards. Teehee. Yeah, so helicopters are cool. I should make more of them. These things, I think, if I... Well, not if. When uh, I do an Ashes of the Empire campaign. And don't hold your breath, by the way. I'm waiting for that to be like fully fixed before I even touch it. Um, I think things like this will feature quite prominently, simply because attack helicopters 
I don't know, just helicopters in general, I think are kind of cool. It's just the whirly bird feel. Let's have more things to shoot at. Now look at you steering properly. Okay, the missile variant is a bit more fat. It's quite cute. How about you, sir? Are you steering correctly? You are. How about that? Are you bouncing around like a crazy person? Yes, you are. Perfect. Let's jump on you. How are these things going? Quite nicely. Yeah, so I tended to find that these guys are missed an awful lot uh, with their shots, simply because they rolled from side to side too hard, and uh, dialing down the power on the rotors on the side of it uh, helped with that quite a bit. So I, I'm still, I'm gonna chuck these two things on the workshop, by the way, because it occurs to me like that I'm a bit fuzzy-headed right now. I'm not doing a great job of explaining like how these dang things work. So like yeah, I'll put them up in the workshop, put the links in the in the description just so you just so like you can see for yourself uh, how they work. It's reasonably simple, but particularly now that I've figured out the problem with the steering right there. What else can we have? Let's have a pair of atlases and see how badly we get sugared. Sugared? That's a new one. Oh, I forgot to talk about the missiles on the, this uh Charming little thing. They're, these guys are set to stay a long way away, so this is pure attack helicopter right here. It's also kind of why I chose to spawn this in the land design, it's because it looks so cool just to have a helicopter flying over the sand. That's that's probably 21st century bias, because like these days, whenever people think of war, they think of like, well, they think of the desert pretty much. So this is not an amazing missile. It's got uh, one turn on it and an active radar seeker. Yes, I know, you don't strictly need a one turn with that. I just find it helps because it gets the thing pointing in the right direction in a foolproof way, and it also means this thing can fire missiles backwards quite well. Like, as in, at targets directly behind it. Which is a great thing for a front sighter because normally they're not good at doing that. Lots of fins, got a regulator so it lasts about 20 seconds. A few explosive warheads, HD damage isn't great, like just under a thousand. But it's good enough against small targets, and particularly it's good enough against things like the Atlas, which are made of styrofoam. Or cardboard, I should say. Wooden cardboard. Ah, I think this guy is currently reloading. And I find that- oh yeah. So if you're wondering what is the best overall simple weapon that isn't a custom shell weapon, uh, this octuple 40mm is, I think, by far the best, because it has a giant magazine. I've mentioned this before, it is a huge, huge magazine, and just it's the most ammo efficient of all of them. Like, it probably needs a nerf, because the, these things are just so darn good. And while they're firing, and while they have that gigantic magazine to empty, your ammo reserves recover. And it's just quite cool, really. Quite cool. I need to get better objectives. Let's spawn in a few more helmet choppers. One there, and one there. Where you go, guys. So yeah, I've probably run out of things to, things to say right here. For a second I thought the steering was bad, but nope, it's good, it's just going for the correct target. How lovely. Guys, did you fire the missiles? Did you? I think, did I stick a minimum range on these things? I'm, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Or I stuck accuracy on them or something like that. Whee, that balloon just popped off, so yeah. Uh, small front side of helicopters, entirely possible, I do recommend. Uh, I'm, I would like to say they're fun to make, but my god, it was literally just in this video I figured out one of my main problems with them. It's trying to make that rear daddy blade do too much at once. So yeah, that's about it. Like, uh, as I said, links will be in the description. Uh, have a play with them, tell me what you think uh, on the workshop or in the comments, I don't particularly mind. And next video uh, will be uh, a proper long one. I'm not sure it might be a... Let me know what you want. Let it... Uh, if it's going to be a let's build, I've still got that battleship I need to finish. Doesn't even have a hull yet. Or another APS tutorial, because there's at least one more I want to make, and that's about railguns. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, support me on Patreon if you like, it really helps. Thank you all to... Yeah, thank you all. 
thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. I love you. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.